Alrighty, it is Monday and uh, we're getting ready to leave Page, but the view you have right now is where we were. We were up there at the very top of that peak. Oops, it's not focusing yesterday. And I'll back out because on one side, this is the side of the ridge that we were able to see Page on. And the other side, you were looking into Marble Canyon and the Colorado River. But uh, I don't know if you recall, but there was a P on the mountain when we were up there, and that would be the P. And Paige is just beyond that to the left. But uh, we're getting ready to head down towards the Petrified Forest and the Painted Desert and Meteor Crater, and we'll probably end up somewhere around Flagstaff tonight. We're on our way to Winslow and uh, we came across this canyon. It's pretty nice. You can see Mesa's way in the back over there. And then this plain. Oh, it's very windy. Pretty windy up here. But anyway, so it's really a pretty, pretty nice view. Kind of makes you think a little bit about the cowboy days. We were just over there at that point, but we couldn't really get a good view of anything. So Lori got a new hat. Pretty cool, huh? And now she just fits into the background. <laughs> We pulled off the side of the road. We just found this neat place. You can see some of this mesas in the distance. And uh, they're actually pretty pretty neat. They go forever. But one thing we noticed is that the clouds are really low. Now, I don't know if you can see, but um, we're standing next to a fence line here. And then the road that we're on just goes on forever, excuse, down that way. And we're getting closer to Winslow. across 
this little Navajo pullover and it said it's the uh, rim byway or rim sink byway or something like that around the Painted Desert. It's actually pretty neat, pretty nice here. It's, you can see it's all the little hills and the different color in the cliffs. So we arrived at Winslow, Arizona. This is Arizona US 66. And we're standing in the corner in Winslow, Arizona with a flatbed Ford and a girl looking at me. And there is the girl. a flatbed Ford in the corner and this is looking down the street uh, this is east and then there's a little trading place trading company right behind this and the railroads are on this other side there's a couple of buildings over here and then there's Bojo's Grill and Sports Club where we're gonna go get something to eat. Back to the corner.
we made it to the Petrified Forest National Park and we're in the section called Rainbow what? Rainbow Forest. Rainbow Forest. And there's a bunch of pieces of petrified trees as far as the eye can see and we're on this little I don't know like a little trail it's paved so we should be able to see some pretty nice stuff but there's some really really long logs this one being one of them Rainbow for I mean, excuse me, Crystal Forest. This is Crystal Forest. It's supposed to be a lot of little crystals in the petrified wood. As we're walking by, we can see some of them in the ground. But I guess we're not supposed to take them, so we're just going to leave them there. There's one piece of wood right there. And there's a really, really big piece over there. But it's a nice little trail. This is a big one. Look at Lori. <laughs> it's probably about what four foot somewhere around there. Well, I'm five four. So yeah. yeah. petrified wood and it looks just like I mean well I guess that's what it is wood but you would never tell it's petrified until you touch it and there's the bark 
Yeah, where it's crystallizing. Turn into crystals there. Yeah, wow. We arrived at Jasper Forest, and this is this were just a whole bunch of bluffs here. You can see the bluffs, and as they washed off and eroded, they left behind all the wood that was really encased within them. But it's all petrified wood, and it's just all over the place. This goes on for miles and miles. There's an example of what the petrified wood um, looks like it, attached to the actual bluff. And then when all of that sand and soft dirt erode with the rain, it just tumbles down into the valley below like it did here. There's a bunch of it down there. To the gate bridge. A gate. <laughs> A gate. A gate. A get. <laughs> so we'll have all sorts of pronunciations for this thing. From the northeast. All right. <laughs> then we'll if we're gonna do that, then I'll just pronounce it in Spanish. I got the. There you go. You win. <laughs> now in Navajo, I don't know what that would be, but it is really. arrived at Lacey Point, L-A-C-Y Point, and um, all the reddish collars are still come, are starting to come out. Get the mesas out there in the distance. But the sun is beginning to sit, or set. So the sun is beginning to set <laughs> and the reds are really coming through now. Chindi Point, looking at the sun setting into the horizon, 
and it's now beginning to get all the reds out and you still you can see all the water flowing through the creeks and there used to be dry river beds and now there's a lot of water and on top of that rock down there is some petrified trees that fell over they're not just So we're at Chindi Point, looking at the sun setting into <clears throat> the horizon, and it's now beginning to get all the reds out. And you still, you can see all the water flowing through the creeks, and there used to be dry river beds, and now there's a lot of water. And on top of that rock down there is some petrified trees that fell over. And they're not just getting exposed as these little mounds are eroded.
Thank you.